Ya be mo bibia kwa abade aba smart gana update so. We eh hey, news update for frokra ne de ba be so mu. Abusia political science lecturer Dr. Ishmael Hlova our wo University of Education Winiba ne de tuja se. Canada compare kwa Japan wo hoi, wo betima do no. Wo betima ta no. Na emum se wo igi no no pa de, enya de se be yi. Ne nyina ne se wo kire ma. Wo beti se Canada compare kwa Japan mu no. E ya de se, e ya no mu ye so important and influential to the extent se se even mm -hmm. po when we ni November 2024 impo a. E se se MPP4 adwene the bigger picture. E san se wo beti se Canada compare kwa Japan no. E ya no mu wo bigger say in what happens in 2024 elections. E wusu ya ya kwa kwete de ntia political science lecture e de san se mi e gu hono. I was going to say that the person who was there was going to say, I'm not going to go to the I was scared and also I was going to try to be and as a president or a different mindset. And what did you just say? I was going to say, you hear me, I'm going shift the system. And you know what I'm going Kwa pa, and kwa mpe normal president na ebim, and as a usual president na wabe di gana so na ebim. Na emom, obi a yese no, na adwen no, e ye different from others, a man fo bi e persivu ni se, e ye on presidential. E se an se, si se yi, e brena ye drum no, e nye de usual presidential material seven na gana fo yisu na. Na emom, o hiyan obi a this time around no, obi ti mindi ni na ye si wo, na system na enko ye no, wa shift no. E bu siyan, e no so so ya kwa kwa tiye di inti ya, o kansa. E bu siyan, de kwa tuwa, e so so, e ye, keep Point in Zambia, what the Amma delegate so among her so, and some normal people to November four for Bano. It's an say, what say? As some delegates, no, are more thinking about themselves. I know our family in a future. And yes, I know my mistakes there. And yeah, I'm more so that you know, we just cannot deny. But on how better we pay? I was saying, many persons make us happy. Many persons are beko. They are going to political science lecture. So I didn't say much to you. No, what you mean? The entire this time around the so MPP four. I am presenting. We be the second day I come prepare for Japan. No more presenting any other candidate. A better tough pa in 2024. Yanko, yanko, ko tiye no so I didn't say me. Eh, to you. Yaba, yaba to us prepare person and say me nina esiti. You see, there are people. You may hate them. You may love them, but you cannot ignore them. Okay. And he is one of them. He is one of them. You can love them. Mm. You can hate them, but you can't ignore them. Meaning what? You see, they are so important okay. and so influential okay. that even you who hate him at a point will need him. Mm. So mm. you can't ignore him. Okay. You ignore him at your own risk. So even if MPP decides to present maybe at the end of the day a different candidate, Smart a different candidate <laughs> he will have a huge say in the bigger picture that's why you Smart the party must manage the competition and looking at the political atmosphere do you think mpp wouldn't present him where i stand but you see normally running against the establishment it's not easy it's not easy but then i look at the number of people who vote and then I thought, well, he still stands a chance. Okay. All right. You, you must understand that the establishment will have their own way of doing things. But as I said, if you look at the terrain now, most of the people who stand outside the establishment are getting through. Why? Because the answers are not with the establishment. The answers are outside. And this, I don't just want an, a normal president. Okay. Okay. Quotes okay. and unquotes. Okay. As okay. they are projected. Yeah. You, see, you see, the problem is that we must not be scared to try people who have a different mindset. The usual Ghanaian mindset is what we want. Mm. Isn't it? Mm. But and the we, problems we, we you confront, the problems you confront mm. are not normal. Okay. You need somebody who can shake the system. If you are there to vote, one think of the use of Ghana who are unemployed today, as we speak, many of them have just finished national service. Mm. And the, the, after national service, all of them are as in hotness for me. Think of them. Think of who can create job for these people. Mm. Think of who has demonstrated the ability to create job. Say demonstrated the ability to create the jobs. Think of somebody who, when elected, will not be thinking of paying off 
those who contribute to his party, mm. his campaign, mm. somebody who holds him so who, who who is financing himself with the little he has. Think of somebody who is pure in the sense that he doesn't need to pretend to be what he is not. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Think of somebody who will give you a future. Mm. And then you go for him. Because that is why the solution to your problem lies. It doesn't lie anywhere. Think of trying to break the eight. Think of going to convince somebody to vote for your party. Think of all the questions they will ask you. Mm. And you will realize that it is so easy to sell this one than the others, given the current situation we are in. What about if I'm giving money? Oh, if you are giving money, <laughs> yeah. you see, I'm a very religious person. Uh -huh. I will not say don't take your money. Okay. Take the money, buy some goods and enjoy. But at the end of the day, it's a secret ballot. <laughs> Do the needful for the future of yourself, your children, and this country. Ken looks to present something extra. Okay. Uh, something that the others don't have okay and perhaps that is what people are communicating as unpresidential okay you see you have elected president over the years who seems to be presidential mm -hmm. your problems are the same okay okay so being presidential and not solving the problem mm -hmm. perhaps it's time to try something different okay and what is that something different somebody with passion somebody with that foresight okay somebody who has proven over the years to have a plan to build something from the scratch on his own mm. without state's support now that gives you an idea that maybe perhaps if you put that person at the helm of affairs he may be able to bring in more than what others are bringing mm. being a businessman he understands the business climate. He understands what businesses need to thrive. This is a practical person. This is somebody who has lived, have done business in various regimes. Rollins, Mills, Kufo. Kufo. So having understand how businesses operate, and the, the habit of everything is to, to let businesses grow and create jobs. As we sit here as a country, the greatest threat to our stability it's not political parties it's the teaming youths who are unemployed anytime the youths are highly unemployed like this there's always a tendency that they will get into the wrong hands when you look at terrorism across west africa one of the largest cause of that is the huge number of young people who have become frustrated mm. and once they get frustrated any group that offer them something that the government are not offering becomes a natural ally so i've listened to this man i said okay what is he bringing on board he's bringing something that we think that is what quote, unquote, as you put it out as a un unprecedented uh. but you know your behavior may not be the same as my behavior it's never possible leaders come with their own understanding of what they want to do and he's clearly communicated various parts of the time what he thinks can be done mm. and these are concrete looking at the resources they have what can be done there so if you give him the chance uh, maybe you are giving a chance to somebody who will do something different because if you have done okay let's say you brought somebody who is presidential the result is not different somebody who mm -hmm. is quote and unquote mm -hmm. is not different perhaps the result you are looking for is not in the in the, in, in the presidential materials it's not there so this somebody who can clear who has a difference in terms of what we talk about one of the things that have happened in terms of fighting corruption in this country is the point that many of the people get in office through sponsorship so if i sponsor you to get into office i should have my stake in your government so therefore it's very difficult to crap the whip when the person who sponsor you is the one you have to crap the whip on let me ask you this question if you look at where the world is heading towards why do you think that at this point in time we don't need an economist we don't need any other person but a businessman 
the world is moving to a stage where every country is is fighting to maintain an economy and grow its own economy. Okay. You look at the Chinese, you look at the US, the competition is all about who dominates the world economically. When you dominate the world economically, you're able to dominate other aspects of the world. Now, so an economist is fine, but a businessman is the one who actually put the economist to work. Okay. okay. Do, do you understand? Yes. So you go to school, you read accounting, you read economics, uh, but maybe you can create your own job. The businessman, an entrepreneur, put all of you together. You, you are a fine presenter. Mm. But you can present in your house. Somebody has to put this structure together, together and bring all of you, including the accountant here, so that you can work. Okay. That is different. Yes, the economist will be part of his team, but he needs to build a team and then give them that understanding of the entrepreneur. When to take risk, when not to take risk. That's what we are heading towards. And the globe is competitive. The idea of waiting for somebody to come and help you is long gone. If you look at the terrain, it's gone. Where you think that, oh, when I'm in trouble, somebody will rescue you. We are going for the 17th. We are under the 17th for the 16th IMF program. What it means is that we've just been able to run ourselves for like two years. And we go back mm. with our economies, with our soldiers, with our lawyers. Um, so the question is, what have you not tried? Mm. What have you not tried? You have tried. Oh. oh, people continue to say that your candidate, Honorable Ken, doesn't appeal to the intellectuals. You are from a university. If you talk to them, what do they say? <laughs> you see, uh, what do you even define by intellectual? Maybe those of us who work in the university, but we are not more intelligent than the ordinary citizen on the street. Okay. They can measure inflation in their stomach. Mm. Mm. So Once your stomach is empty you know that there's inflation it's not like about what you read <laughs> you see there's difference between somebody who has witnessed poverty mm. and somebody who reads poverty if at a point in your life you know at a point in some of us our life we look like poverty when you watch her that is poverty yeah. you don't need to read it yeah do you understand yes. so Yes, you, 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 you assume that he cannot appeal to the intellectual but, but some of us who have that third eye we are looking at okay what is it that the others are bringing? Mm. First, let's take a look at, not even within the party. We look at the oppos opposition within the party. We look at the opposition outside the party. Do they have that extra energy? Do they have that extra, um, I think, uh, emotion where, where they want to do something? You see, the problem they are, we are finding is that in Ghana, we always like pretenders. Okay. So people I'm, who pretend. I may be violent, mm -hmm. but if I appear here and I look like a very guy, nice guy, mm -hmm. gentleman, uh, you say, "Yeah, this is a leader." But if I display my raw self, then you like ah, this is not what we want. But you see, there are also people in their own places who, far off, looking at the guy and said. Let me tell you something. To come here, it's not like somebody say, come and come here. No, I, I told somebody, ah, I think I like this one. I want to see something new. And he is the one who is bringing something new. The others are bringing the same old stuff. Mm. He is bringing something new. You see, this man, I believe, one of the many other things I admire about him is that I want to see a president, when a minister is down wrong, he goes to the place and says, hey, minister, you are fired. <laughs> but no, to see a president who... <laughs> Keep somebody there for so long, and, and the person become too confident. And don't you think if a president continues to do that, um, people will be afraid working for for the country? You can't be afraid if you are competent. Okay. Because you are given a job, you are given a task. There, there, there are cities in this world. When the city gets flooded, the mayor is gone. Do they fear working? No. You have targets. If you meet your target, you keep your office. If you don't meet your target, you are gone. So this is what appeals to me, that this is a man who can hold his own. Are we not a young democracy whereby we need to measure things the way it will help us to grow in a, a, a certain direction in terms of uh, the speed? What speed do you... How, you have been 30 years of a democracy... Uh, how do you want to grow? People are growing fast. The world is moving fast. The world will not wait for you. Mm. You need somebody who can pull the system, who can hold his own against both the party 
and influence. Somebody who can hold his own, all right? Because as a president, you must must difference between being a president and a political leader. As I know, we are talking about somebody who wants to be a political leader. After elections, you have become president. And the influences come from so many quarters. You cannot be seen falling to every influence. You must sometimes look at the party and say, this is in the interest of the party, but wait. The national interest will not lie here. Let us go beyond the party. The party. Most of the president we have had in this fourth republic are not able to do that. And sometimes that is why we will see that some of the things we do, it is clear from even the word go that it won't work. But then again, because they are not able to hold their own. So I, you see, I'm looking for a man mm -hmm. who holds his own, who look at the situation and say, well, listen, although this is like this, I think we should go like this. Do you belong to a political party? No. I don't have a party card. Okay. But you have but, soft heart for the new patriotic party? Yeah, probably, and and Ken in particular. Okay. Yeah. So he is the one. Let for, me say for Ken. For, for Ken. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, okay. so uh, for him, I even before he stood up to to, I told somebody, this is the man I want to see to be at the Flagstaff House. The last election you voted? Of course, uh, as a political scientist, somebody who teach politics, I have to vote. And you voted for? That is my own. Uh, <laughs> 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 I wanted to find out and uh, go ahead and then know the reasons, your reasons of voting for that person. Okay, so the last election, I consider so many things. Okay. In the midst of a crisis, okay. you need a little bit of stability. Okay. It's not a period where you want a change. It's not a period where you need to bring in people who will now settle. Okay. You need people who have already understood the situation, okay. who are working on the situation, okay. to have the free hand to work. If you look at the elections, as I'm speaking, almost all the ministers, MPs, MMDCs, following a particular candidate, if that candidate is not a winnable candidate, why do you think they will follow him? You see, the political establishment has a way of trying to maintain itself. Okay. And normally, people who finally win elections these days, if you want the terrain, are, are those outside the establishment. Are those who operate outside the establishment. Those at the top may have a particular view. But at the end of the day, it's the grassroots that determines. Is the grassroots that win with the election? Ministers will not go to some of the houses people will go to and be beaten. Mm. The people who will be beaten, if they look at it differently from the minister, then it doesn't matter at the end of the day what ministers and other people are saying. So, so you must understand that. And of course, as a minister, it's so difficult given where somebody is to go against that person. Mm. Sometimes, some, you may even wish you are the other side. But the atmosphere will not permit you. May not permit you. And 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 as rational people making decisions, sometimes you stick there. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? But maybe perhaps if the atmosphere were different, you may be at the other side. So it is good that way. But I think this is the advantage that he brings to the table. Okay. That well, he's an outsider. He 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 has his own plan. This is the plan some people have brought. This group of people have brought also the same within the same party, but we know that within parties there are fashions, and fashions keep parties alive. A party without fashions is dead because that's what keeps competition within the party. Mm. A democratic party must have fashions, and those fashions are the lifeblood of the party if it is managed well. It is only when it is not managed well that it gets out of hand. But if a party exists and everybody is following the same terrain, then the party is, uh, is dead. A party must have various sectors, various uh, parties within it competing for power. That's why you know that the party actually can reproduce itself. Will you be surprised if MPP didn't pre present Kennedy or Hinej Japan? Well, I will not be surprised. But then again, it will be a tough fight. For MPP? It, 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 will, be, it will be a tough fight mm. for you to... You see, I, I want you to understand that he, where he has got into now, if we were talking maybe in two years back, 
you won't give him a chance. Okay. That's fine. Mm -hmm. But look at the super delegates. Mm -hmm. The first time outperforming even those who have been in this game for long. That should tell you that. And the super delegates are people who are quite restricted. Mm -hmm. He is more of the grassroots. He can connect to people. He can connect to uh, so many people at, at different levels, regardless of where, where your party leaning is. So I would not be surprised, but I said to, to overlook him. You see, there are people, you may hate them, you may love them, but you cannot ignore them. Okay. And he is one of them. He is one of them. You can love them. Mm. You can hate them, but you can't ignore them.